Yeah, hello all. Yeah, yeah hi. Hi, yeah. welcome back. So in the previous class, we have gone through the steps in configuration of the third party process without shipping notification, right? Mm -hmm. What is that? Third party process without shipping notification. In which without shipping notification. So now let us configure the same here in the SAP. So are you ready for that? Yeah, ready. Okay. So now let us start our process from creation of the purchase order. Okay. Okay. So if you would like to create the purchase order, then the purchase organization should be there, right? Yes. So let us start from creation of the purchase organization. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, I just would like to ask you a small question here. I think you are already gone through the yesterday's video. So you may answer the question now. Let me see if you can answer or not. Here the question is, why we require the schedule in category in third party process when yeah, can, can you please let me know why we require the schedule and category in third party process? Actually, we are not delivering something there, right? Yeah. So if we deliver something, then the schedule and category should be there. Yeah. So can we see the schedule lines in third party process? No. No? Do we have the schedule and category in third party process? Yeah, schedule and category is there. Yes. For third so, party, third yeah. party, CS. Yeah, what is the purpose of the schedule and category? Uh, delivery dates and confirmed quantities. Okay. Yes, delivery dates and confirmed quantities for which we will use the schedule and category. Okay. But here in the third party process, we are not delivering the goods at all. Okay. So in this case, why we need the schedule and category there in the third party process? Okay. Okay, can you please answer the question? For availability and requirement. Let me tell you what exactly yeah. the purpose of this. It okay. is to create the purchase requisition. The yeah. main purpose of the schedule and category here in the third party process is to create the purchase requisition. Okay. Mm. So if okay. you don't have the schedule and category, for example, then what will mm. happen? You will not have the order type ENB. Mm. So if you don't have the order type NB, then the purchase requisition will not get generated, right? That's what we have already discussed in yesterday's class. Yeah. So for this purpose, we are using the schedule and categories for third party process. Okay. okay. So are you clear with it? Okay. Okay. And more, mostly you will face the question in interviews because I have seen and I have listened from many of my students that most of them have faced this question. Why we need the okay. schedule and category for third party process? Mm. So this is the answer. Okay. Okay. So now mm. let us move to configure the purchase organization. Mm. Purchase organization. Mm. So can you please let me know the path to create the purchase organization? It's nothing but SPRO. SPRO enterprise structure. Enterprise structure. Yes. Then enterprise structure. Definition. Then definition, mm. then material management, mm. and here maintain yes. organization. Maintain 
डेफिनेशन एंड हियर मेटीरियल मैनेजमेंट देन हियर मेंटेन परचेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके सो हियर लेट अस गो थ्रू द न्यू एंट्रीज एंड लेट अस क्रिएट आवर परचेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सी एन एंट्री इज ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट विद द सेम की सो नाउ लेट अस create with a different entry okay see if you go through the position here you can see the purchase organization see m100 which was already created and now we have created m300 okay okay so i would like to use m100 as our purchase organization because already the entry is there so now let me go back and which was not at all used to any other company code okay okay mm. and now we have to assign the purchase organization to the company code so now let me give the process here mm. <clears throat> first of all what we have to do we have to create परचेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन दिन द सेम वे द सेकेंड स्टेप इज टू एस इन द परचेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू कंपनी कोड okay so now let us go okay. through the second step here okay. so how we assign the purchase organization to the company code we have to go through assignment and here okay. financial accounting then can we assign here so come here it is assign company code to company here we can see the assignment in material management okay because it is the role of the mm consultant okay we don't assign yeah we don't assign but anyhow as in the test system we have to practice all these things we are going to do this mm. Mm. so now let us click on assign purchase organization to the company code mm. so here what is our purchase organization m100 right Mm. so the purchase organization m100 already assigned to the company code m100 mm. okay and if you would like to assign a new purchase organization here see here display to change mode mm. okay and here if you type your purchase organization here mm. you can assign it to the company code so this is what the purchase organization m300 which we have created now right and which was not assigned to any other company code so here let me assign it to the company code m100 and now let me save it okay so in the same way the m100 was also assigned to the company code m100 okay Okay. So now let me save it and let me go back. So now we have completed two steps, right? Yes. Now let us go through the step three. It is nothing but mm. assign the purchase organization to plant. Mm. What is that? Purchase, purchase organization to. land so now let us go through this okay 
So, <coughs> can you guide me where exactly we can assign purchase organization to the plant? It is also there in the material master assignments, right? So here, assign purchase organization to plant. And here, we have to go through the new entries to assign that. But anyhow, let me see if it was already assigned. See, the purchase organization M100, which got assigned to the plant, M100. In the same way, the same purchase organization which also got assigned to the plant M200. Okay. And now let us see the purchase organization M300 which we have created now. Okay. Here we cannot find any entry because the configuration is not existing here. So now let me go through the new entries and here let me give purchase organization as M300 and here the plant is M100. In the same way, the same purchase organization which I would like to assign to the plant M200. Okay, so now let me save it. So here, whenever you are saving, it is asking the customizing request, right? So if you have any existing customizing request, then you can save it in that or else you can create a new tier. I think you know the process, right? How can you create the new tier? If you are not aware, not an issue. I will cover it in a different session. So now here, let me go back. And let me save it. And see, now we have completed three steps, right? One yeah. is to create the purchase organization and the second one is to assign the purchase organization to the company code and in the okay. third step we have seen that assignment of the purchase organization to the plant okay. so now let us go through the fourth step here what okay. is that we have to assign the tax procedure to the company code okay. We have to assign the tax procedure, especially to the country, sorry, not company code. We will assign the tax procedure to the country. Mm. What is that? C. Here, <coughs> tax procedure assignment to country okay so for which what is the transaction we use O B B G so this is what is the transaction we use to assign tax procedure to the country okay so now let me go through the transaction O B B G And here, select our country. What is our country? IN, right? Mm. So, India. So, here we have to assign the procedure. Mm. See, the TAXIT is a procedure and TAXJP is a procedure. This is what is used for Japan and this is what is used for Italy. Mm. So, like that, we also use one procedure. It's nothing but T A X D. Okay. Mm. So what is our procedure? T A X D. X D. Okay. And now let me mm. save it. So this is the procedure in the standard SAP, but in a real time, they means the company can use different procedures. Mm. Okay. So at the time of implementation, you will come to know what exactly the procedure you have to assign. Mm. So based on that, you can assign the procedure there. Mm. But anyhow, this is not uh, the task of you. Mm. It's not the task of the SD consultant. 
so now let me save it and go back so hope you are clear with it mm. and if you have any queries in this regard you can ask me now mm, okay yeah can you please let me know if you have any queries no no queries okay and if you get any queries you don't hesitate to post them in the forum in the website or else in the comment section of the youtube channel okay mm. so hope you are clear thank okay. you bye